What is up everybody, welcome to another episode of Fluff Hammer. Today is Dratch Nyan, the Blade of Abaddon. Let's get into it. We're going to start off with Cantor Blue as a base. We're going to use it on a wet palette. And as you can see, I've done it roughly 50-50, if not a little bit more to be honest. Probably two parts water to one part paint. And uh, once again, we're going to be copying the box art on this. So... We're going to be picking our kind of lights and darks from the picture on the cover. Uh, we're going to basically work all this around and get kind of faded it into the blacks using a little bit of wet blending. Also, this is such a dilute layer that it's actually going to blend really nicely and smoothly into the black. So we're going to follow it around the front and back of the blade. Don't forget these little tips on the hilt and yeah, just smooth all that in nicely. Next up, we're going in with the Thousand Sun Blue from Citadel. It's a nice blend in between kind of blue and a turquoise. So we're going to be using that to follow the same as we did last time with the Cantor, but just leave a little bit more of the Cantor. So where we left a little bit of black on the blade, we're going to now replace that with leaving a little bit of Cantor. As you can see, I'm doing a nice wet blend. It's probably two parts water to one part paint again. And we're going to follow that all the way around. Then we're going to be jumping into turquoise from Pro Acryl. It's a lovely uh, turquoise colour. And we're going to mix that in with the Thousand Suns Blue to make a kind of me medium tone between the two. Uh, we're also as well, we're edge highlighting everything as we go. So we're following around the edge of the blade, down the middle of the blade. And the tips of those little spikes. And we're also filling in the mouthpieces too. Um, that turquoise has really bleached the blade out a little bit. So we're going to get a Gilliman blue glaze. Um, or you can swap that out with a blue contrast paint with about four parts medium to one part uh, contrast paint. Then we're going to go back in with the undilute turquoise from Pro Acryl. I'm sure there is um, a Citadel alternative to this i think it would be something like um i think it's baharoth blue would be a good option for that and again we're just going to follow all the way around the blade as you can see i'm edge highlighting with every stage uh, i like to do that i know some people don't some people just wait to the edge and put one or two highlights on but i think it keeps it consistent if you just keep blending every layer so it's just doing another little glaze again of the blue to tie it all together we're now going to be mixing some Pro Acryl White. You could use any brand here though, the white is white really. I do like the Pro Acryl because the pigment's quite high, but other than that, yeah, just use whichever one you need to. And again, we're going to edge highlight all the way around. I'm going to be filling the little mouth holes. As you can see, following the line down the center of the blade, all the way around. We're going to go in with Pro Acryl White again. Like I said, I do really like the pigment on this. It's a really good kind of single layer white. It coats really well, covers really well. And we're going to just pick out all the finest tips and do our best to just do the tiniest little dots in the eyes and fill the holes in the mouths, but leaving just a little bit of blue so the mouths still have a nice depth to them. Once I then kind of got to the stage where I thought I was pretty much finished, the blade looked really bleached out. So I grabbed some electric blue from Vallejo and I'm just doing a kind of a very thin glaze all over just to try and bring a bit of saturation back. And that didn't really do the job for me. So I've gone with some teal ink, which I've diluted probably 50-50, if not maybe two parts water to one part ink and that as you can see is really really bringing up the saturation um, which I just thought it needed it looked too bleached out I wanted it to be almost glowing um, and nicely saturated so yeah I think that was a really good addition and that's helped tie in all the layers as well it's helped smooth the blends out so as far as blending and stuff go that is the blade totally finished 
I decided to add a little cross in the top of the blade as you can see on the picture here. It's basically just pro acryl turquoise as fine as possible and then just line through the middle also with some of the pro acryl white again. So this is the finished product. I hope you like it. If there's anything you could I think I could improve on on these tutorials, please put it in the comments. Please like, please, please subscribe. You're really, really helping out the channel. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.